went through the text um, but now let us try to understand it a bit more um, closely and deeply hopefully um, okay so here goes the first thing is we need to differentiate between what might be called for the lack of a good uh, word in English religious problem versus the philosophical problem The religious problem is the problem caused by Islam and Christianity and other religions. And these religions have suggested various uh, solution to that problem. On the other other hand, the philosophical problem is posed by modern philosophy since Descartes uh, and the important figures in this problems are Kant and Hegel especially as far as uh, Iqbal is concerned uh, but also British empiricism and other and continental rationalism etc now what Iqbal is doing here is reading the religious problem through the lens of the philosophical problems or uh, and mixing those two separate problems distinct problems it doesn't have any uh, obvious link to each other so I don't know whether this is intentional or he doesn't understand the difference I don't know we'll see uh, so let's see let me first uh, go through what is the philosophical uh, sorry religious problem and then we'll go through philosophical problem what is the philosophical problem and various solution to it and then we'll go back to Iqbal's text and reread it. And hopefully, then it will be a bit more clear. Now, first, religious problem. And to simplify, because obviously, it's, a, it's not easy to articulate the religious problem, but let me just go through the basic, give you the basic idea as far as I understand it. Religious problem is the problem of salvation. Salvation of human being. At least this is a problem of um, what people call Abrahamic religion. Even though, you know, as far as we are there is only one Abrahamic religion. Um, and obviously Islam and Christianity are part of that tradition. And the basic insight of uh, so the basic religious problem is salvation. And by salvation we mean eternal salvation.
and um, basic insight is that this world is temporary abode and human beings are sent here as a test basically or as a trial um, whether they follow the right path uh, the blueprint for which is sent to them through the prophets or they follow the wrong path but one of the thing is clear this world is temporary this world is not eternal and the world to come is after death uh, and resurrection is eternal and we have to prepare for that world and one meaning of spirituality in both Christianity and Islam is this to make sure that this world which is temporary doesn't overwhelm our hearts and minds to such an extent that it becomes our main mainstay or our main focus as an individual as a society as a civilization so the part of salvation is that we create and sustain and continuously renew an individuality a society a civilization which reflect this reality that this world, world is transitory this world is temporary this world is a passing moment and what we have to do is to prepare for the hereafter for the eternal for the for the eternal world whether that world will actually be established here or in some other dimension that's not important um, and part of this is so we create a civilization individuality and society which reflect, reflects the reality that this world is a transitional place this world is a temporary place and whatever we are doing as terms of individual and society and civilization uh, is um, um, uh, 
reflects this reality. On the other, other hand, um, the contrasting, contrasting view is expressed by this uh, by a line of a Persian verse uh, attributed to Baba. Um, the founder of Mughal Empire in India. I think he was the founder. Um, he says that Babur Baesh Kosh Kizindagi Dubaranist or Dubaranist as the Iranians say. Um, I th I'm not sure whether it's one line or two lines. That doesn't make any. He is speaking to himself. He is saying, Oh, Baba, live a life. <laughs> Enjoy the life. As much as you can, because this life is... Is only one life it's not going to be given to you twice so that was his view um, but that's a totally uh, opposite view to what Islam and Christianity teaches in other Islam and Christianity says would rather say that to live this life as a moment in an inter eternal life, a moment in eternal life in such a way that you would have A fulfilling successful eternal life and the way to do that is to uh, implement the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on your body on your soul and on your social and cultural and civilizational world. So what are we supposed to do is to create a civilization which reflect the reality of this world. So in the reality, if this world is in which we live, is only a momentary transition. We live, obviously, we uh, benefit from its uh, resources and live a life, but not for its own sake. And not for pleasure, although obviously uh, as much as pleasure which is, you know, uh, is necessary 
to sustain our life at this point, but beyond that, a pleasure which will, you know, darken your vision of the reality that is something to be avoided. So we create a life uh, and we spend uh, and benefit from this world, but in such a way that it's only uh, the way to prepare for the next and eternal life. Only such a civilization and such individualities and such societies will succeed eternally. Now, Islam and Christianity might have a difference of opinion how much you have you can you have to focus on the world to do that, but they have no even historical Christianity in historical Islam doesn't have any fundamental difference uh, on this basic vision okay so that's that's what um, Iqbal started talking about but as we realize in terms of Hegelianism in terms of the philosophical problem so the next thing for us to now focus and try to understand is the philosophical problem and only then we will see how he has reinterpreted this religious problem uh, in terms of the philosophical problem in such a way that the whole idea of the uh, religious problem and its spirit, as far as I can see, basically melt away and is reduced or dissolved into the ph philosophical problem. But we can't make this judgment until we focus a bit on the philosophical uh, problem. So we'll look in the next segment on the philosophical problem.